What's up fellow AI fans, as the year 2020 is finally starting to end, we can aggregate some amazing statistics about what happened in the world of AI. This is exactly what Global Distributed Intelligence Center did, and they figured out which are the 10 biggest AI patent fillers in the world. Today we will look into them, I'll show you their coolest projects, and of course this will teach you where you potentially want to work, where you want to invest in, and most importantly it will teach you how to hit the light button. On place 10, Canon. Canon was founded in 1937 and by now have over 200,000 employees. They are producing everything from cameras to printers, scanners and even medical devices. You can use their camera for example to make a picture of this cute squirrel. Oh, it's just begging for it, isn't it cute? Anyway, their well-funded research and development team keeps them innovative and makes them one of the top applicants of patents each year. They also have a special interest in medical imaging and as those of you know who have seen my video about AI in healthcare, there's a lot to be done there. Canon Medical. What they are basically trying to do is develop several devices for scanning various body parts and analyzing the resulting high resolution images using artificial intelligence and deep learning algorithms. They have a special focus here on the machinery and imaging part and as they mentioned already here, safety is a big concern. I think this is generally something that holds medicine and machine learning back quite a bit. They're collaborating with several of world leading research and development teams around the world and are surely cutting edge there. All in all, I'm quite hopeful that it will help cut costs and improve these devices for patients around the world and make them accessible to them. On place 9, Fanuc. Fanuc was founded in 1958, Japan, and by now they are the largest manufacturer of industrial robots in the world. And as you might have guessed, there's a thing or two machine learning can help their customers with. Their focus on robotics delivered several almost completely autonomous machines, especially in the drilling and molding space, but also many more. An interesting new project of Fanuc is AI error proving. This is when they do the quality control that has to be done after product has been produced completely autonomous. This is Fanuc's AI error proving system by Taiwan Fanuc. So basically how it is working here, they're trying to separate broken biscuits from actual biscuits. The way they're doing it, first they take images and then they start labeling it. Once you've done this, which can of course be done by unskilled workers, the system is trained after a short while and here we can see it perform. On place 8, Huawei. Huawei was founded in 1987 and is one of the first Chinese giants on this list. Specialized in telecommunication and consumer electronics. While most big Chinese tech giants are focusing heavily on the Asian market, Huawei also tried to do a lot in the West. Well, in recent times they had a bit of a issue with the American authorities and also some other Western authorities, a lot of people still love their products. Their focus apart from their core business is to expand and accelerate a bit more in the fields of industrial production, also traffic, intelligence, smart finance and what I want to talk with you about today, smart cities. I think especially in places where cities are not fully developed yet, there is an opportunity to invent the concept of a city from the ground up. We are talking here about completely reinventing the design of a city with a lot of smart sensors. We can automate tremendous amounts of works that has to be done in cities nowadays manually, from traffic to health over to security. Most of these changes are driven by new technologies such as big data, IoT and geographical information. On place 7, Capital One. Capital One is the first company on this list and they're only 26 years old. They're heavily focused in the credit card industry but also do all other banking related things such as auto loans. Seeing them on this list was a bit of a surprise to me at first, but once you look a bit closer into it, you realize there's a lot to be done in banking with machine learning. They're heavily focusing in fraud detection, customer support, and of course, privacy. Their fraud detection is relying on GraphML. And to those of you who have seen my video about the best trends in AI, it's a trend to stay. Basically what they do is they scan edges on a transactional graph and check for anomalies. Another area where they're focusing heavily in is customer support. Especially with the recent trends in natural language processing, a lot of new things are possible and you can now serve a lot of customers almost completely 
humanless. Another big area they are working on is explainability. And this makes a lot of sense in banking. If you think about loans and credit cards, if you deny them to a customer, the customer support or generally the customer has to know why that happened. On place six, Alibaba. Alibaba is another Chinese giant and it has been founded only 22 years ago. But by now they dominate a lot of the retail and e-commerce space and many other areas. Fun fact, they also license the name Alimama in case anyone wants to marry them. If your hacking skills are too low, just open just Sam their platform. Joking. I mean, they clearly are a world leader in security and they have a hugely well-funded AI team. They're also working heavily in venture capitalism and are one of the biggest corporate investors in the world. They use AI and machine learning in many of their products and services. And of course, a huge part of it is in logistics and e-commerce. But they're also using it to figure out completely new use cases for machine learning, such as FlyZoo, their almost completely autonomous robot hotel. FlyZoo is a new hotel concept they've developed. And of course, it is in China. It is a almost completely autonomous hotel. You start with an app, you scan your passport at the check-in, doors open by facial recognition, and of course, all things like room service and your dinner is brought to you by autonomous robots. On place five, Microsoft. Microsoft is an American tech giant that probably needs no explanation. They're working in operating system and also have a huge cloud with Azure. But apart from that, they're also a leading force in AI research and development. While not all of their AI experiments went well, we may remember that one time they accidentally built a Nazi Twitter bot. They're in general doing a lot more right than wrong. In their Azure cloud, they're providing pretty much all ML services that you could possibly one from natural language processing to image classification, they got it all. Their dedication to machine learning and AI has also shown through their partnership with OpenAI. The OpenAI team brought us some of the most amazing machine learning models of the last years and their GPT-3 model will be licensed exclusively through Azure. Microsoft also just built a new AI supercomputer. This is quite exciting since they are handing it over to researchers to do some amazing work on it. By their own measures, it makes the top five of the strongest supercomputers in the world with around 10,000 GPUs and 285,000 CPUs. On place four, IBM, International Machine Business Cooperation. And with their 109 year old history, definitely the oldest company on this list. Apart from their big commitment to quantum computing, they're also focusing heavily on artificial intelligence. Most of their AI is branded under the name Watson. Watson also remembered for that one time it won Jeopardy around seven years ago and is probably the best player in the world. This kicked off a lot of interest back then in the field of neural networks and artificial intelligence. Similar to Microsoft, they also do a lot of work in machine learning operations, especially their Watson Studio. IBM Data Science, there's quite a selection of tools that they have available and they pretty much lead you through. They have auto ml you can do data labeling visualization and things like this they put a lot of emphasis on the life cycle of a model so you can actually put them into production on place free intel intel inside is what we all grew up on and their processors made the age of the computer even possible while they dominated the market for ages by now they've gotten a bit of competition especially in the mobile market but they're still a global player while their interest in artificial intelligence is mostly from a computational hardware standpoint they also offer a lot of software packages mostly when you hear about intel and artificial intelligence is because they're working on some new processor one of these areas where they are working on is neuromorphic computing so basically trying to do it like the human brain in contrast to a cpu the human brain works asynchronous which makes a lot of new developments necessary on place to alphabet or as you also may know it under the name google google is a global ai player and they're dedicated to making ai and machine learning a core part of their services all around and since machine learning loves quality data the biggest 
data collector in the world surely is in for a longer run. Okay, they call the customer a gorilla that one time, but apart from that, their commitment to responsible AI has worked. Not many days pass without the new great inventions coming out of the Google Labs. They brought us TensorFlow and the Google Assistant. They are by now even training models with trillions of parameters. They continue to progress AI to new heights. For example, we remember the one time they became Go world champion with AlphaGo. Also, they just got a new world record with 312 days in the air with their loom balloons. What they're used for mainly is beaming down internet, especially to rural areas. But also in cases of catastrophes, these things are invaluable to provide much needed service. Home place one, Samsung. Samsung is with its 83 year old history, surely no newcomer. And they are so big by now that they make up around 20% of the South Korean GDP, which is one of the most technology advanced societies on the planet. They build everything from nuclear power plants to mobile phones and they've surely collected a lot of unique data and this is exactly why they're betting big on AI and machine learning. Samsung Research has established a total of seven global AI centers in five countries, namely Korea, the United Kingdoms, Canada, Russia and the United States. Their probably coolest new gadget is Neo, the world's first artificial human. Neons are the first artificial human beings brought to you by Star Labs, which is backed by Samsung. They can show a variety of different emotions and of course converse with you. I am especially excited what they will bring to the gaming world and potentially digital avatars. These have been the 10 most innovative companies in the world. I hope you liked it and please like and subscribe. It would help me and the YouTube algorithm out so much. Please also comment down below which of these companies we should take a closer look into. It was a pleasure. See you next time.